Good morning, CDC families. Welcome to Mrs. Lisa's Art at Home. Hey everyone, I hope you've been enjoying all the art um, activities and prompts and I hope that you're doing them. So if you are, send me pictures and I can post them on our private Instagram page or at least so I can see them. I wanna see what you guys are doing. But today I came um, to you with a fun little activity. So one of the art prompts that I did was on a sculptor and then we used this Sculpty, Sculpey, Sculpey uh, material. So um, I have some leftover from my um, sculptures I made. So I thought um, that I would show you how to make some fun different um, little um, activities with it. So this I got from an idea from Mary Cherry. She has a website and she's process art, art, art based um, workshop in um, Los Angeles. But she has a website and she has some really great activities for kids. And so she did this on her website and I thought this was really fun with this leftover Sculpey. So um, this is the Sculpey if you haven't gotten it yet. I got this off of Amazon. You can see here how it's spelled. Um, and it's like a little bit like clay, it's hardened, a little bit harder than clay. But on the back here in the directions, it tells you how to bake it. So you can make your fun little sculpture pieces or creative little pieces, and then you can bake it. And then it becomes hard. You can hear that? And then you can't, I mean, if I, if I bend it, it will break, but you know, it won't, it won't break or um, fall apart. So when you, you can bake it. So what she did and I thought was so fun is she made these cute little creatures. So my son and I have been using, um, making these because it's a really great activity. Look at these little cute creatures that we've made. And then I made some flowers. I made a little garden for the creatures. This is really great for the fine motor. So I always talk about the fine motor on here, but this is really great for fine motor, but also imagination. I mean, this is really fun. I had fun too. So parents, I highly suggest you sit down with your child and do this too. So you can see here, it bends really easy. And then it's just really fun. You can, you know, um, challenge each other to make really fun, cute little different um, little creatures. Look at this little creature that we made this one so you can be really creative and so you can see it's baked so i can hold it like this and it won't fall apart this one actually doesn't stand so we've been laying it down in our little garden um but this is a really fun activity so you guys um i highly suggest doing this i just bought it off of amazon it's really great for fine motor and imagination but also your great time with your child like i had a great time doing this with my son because we, we were creative we talked about a story and then we were seeing what we could do um each other we were encouraging each other what we how we can change our little creatures and um so you know you guys have fun with this this is a time to really explore be creative and spend some time with your child doing some really, some really fun art, um, creative art um, activities. Okay, you guys, so send me pictures of your fun things that you do with this, and I'll put it on our private Instagram page. Goodbye, everyone.